Okay, once we've checked our signal, um, we're going to go ahead and start doing the actual recording for this lab lesson. And what you're going to do is pretty much you can just follow the instructions on screen. You don't necessarily need this video of me doing it, but in case you're getting stuck. So we have to verify that the signal looked good and we, we felt like our check signal looked as good as we can get. The electrodes are attached. This is actually my non-dominant arm, but I'm just doing this for the purposes of the video. Your hands must be relaxed. And now we're gonna click again to the next thing. Now, when you click on this next tab, is this zoomed in sufficiently? Can this be read? Okay. Um, you'll note here, there's an example video. So pretty much if you're like, I'm not sure what to do, they're gonna do it better than me. So you can play the example video and they're gonna kind of show you what to do. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing. And so we're gonna do four clench release weight cycles. And every, so we're gonna <coughs> wait for two seconds and then clench for two seconds and then wait two more seconds and clench. So you're gonna zoom, get, stand up and zoom in please. Okay, so we're gonna begin with a weak clench and then each successive clench is gonna get stronger. So when I'm trying to get super strong in the end, instead of clenching thin air, I'm gonna clench a finger and then maybe a hand. And that makes it much easier to have a stronger clench. So the first two I'm gonna clench thin air and then we're gonna start clenching bigger things. So when we're ready, can you see, are we set up so you can see my arm in this thing? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna hit the record tab, which is down below, the record button, excuse me. Okay, I'm waiting for two seconds clenching a little bit, and then releasing, and then clenching a little more, releasing, and clench my fingers, that I get a stronger one, release. Now I'm gonna clench my whole arm very strong, and then release, and then hit suspend. And mine didn't follow the exact two second pattern after a while, it kind of blurred in, but it really, it doesn't matter. What you need is some data of relaxing and some data of clenching. And your goal is to have each of these four clench cycles to be stronger, uh, successively stronger. And if you want, you can compare and hopefully your data is pretty similar to what's here. And then you'll repeat the process uh, for your non-dominant arm, um, it, whichever one was which, just keep track because it's gonna label the first one as your dominant arm and the second one it's gonna label it as non-dominant. So you do wanna follow the pattern they say. But you get the gist from here and that's enough for this recording.